is extraordinary! It's a real raging, raging river. There's an incredible amount of water passing through here. If you actually lost your footing and got swept away down there, you could get sucked into a place where the water just goes underground with no air, or you could just get swept over the top of a waterfall. Same time though, this has got to be one of the most exciting things I've ever done. Every single step we take is new. No one's ever seen any of this. Finding and exploring a brand new underground route is the ultimate thrill for any caver. I see waterfall. We're at the top of the waterfall. You can hear the noise of it. It's like, it's like a 747 taking off. Uh, the passage goes off in that direction, so we've got some more exploring to do. That's fantastic. To descend any further, they'll need climbing equipment. That is the biggest scorpion I've seen yet here. In the jungle, George is out collecting. Come on, we want something nice. The base camp phase of the expedition is nearing an end, but the forest is still delivering surprises. Something, I it's, it's a little tiny frog, a little tiny frog just sitting on that leaf. I think we should collect that for uh, Alan, our frog expert. Alan, I bring you frog. Is it a tree frog? They're, they're very sort of adhesive little feet. And uh, indeed, it is a tree frog. Oh, this great. is an interesting one. This is a great one. Wow, yes. the first one we found here. We have yes. not found this yet. It could either be a new species or on its way to being a new species. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Across the lab, photographer Ula has set up a time lapse studio. That's looking so close. One of George's mystery caterpillars is now a chrysalis and could hatch at any time. But I really want to just give it a little poke just to see if it's... <laughs> I can't just give it a little poke, no. Yeah. Well, no, it would really spoil the time-lapse recording, yeah. so... Sorry. <laughs> the cameras should capture the very moment it emerges. I know what's going to happen. It'll emerge. It'll be the most tedious, boring little moth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stephen Moose will press on into the unknown. The rest of the team can only wait. In the treetop, Gordon's two male Ragianas are upping their game. Their efforts have attracted a potential mate. Oh, female, female. 
female. She'll decide which is her favorite. Now this could get quite interesting. Despite the rain, they're both putting on this display because there's competition. And not only is there competition, there is a female around and that's what it's all about. Oh man, it doesn't get much better than this. Not when it comes to birds. Oh, what are you females? Jeez. The second that's female that's also shows an interest. Come on, I see. What do you think of him? Oh, he's picking up. Oh, easy on. This is quite incredible. That these birds have evolved to look like this, to sound like this, to act like this, just to win a mate. Well, it looks as if she's decided who she likes. Oh, yes. You will be mine. As one male makes the biggest impression, the second knows he's beaten. Oh, mating! He's mating! Oh, lovely! Oh, I can't believe we've got that! No, I wonder if he'll actually mate with both of them in one day. This male's done well. He's won over the second female. She's not boring at all. It's really good stuff. That's what it's all about with Birds of Paradise, is if you look that great, you're going to get more than one lady. And off she goes. You don't really get too many days like this. Off he goes, beautiful. Ta-da!